Okay, so you go to keenprojects.com, go to calculators and choose head loss calculator. Click it. Now it's pretty simple. You have the help here if you need to read, but I'll explain everything now. You give your pipeline a second name, it's just a name, you can type anything you want, a number or whatever. Then you choose a t the type of the pipe you use, sub-main or main. In this example I will use main. The material the pipe is made from, in this case PVC. Nominal diameter, <coughs> 110. And now, according to the nominal diameter and the material, you will have the wall thickness or pressure rating accordingly. So choose P and 10 in, the, in this example. Then you will get the inner diameter. You can uh, overwrite this if you have inner diameter that is different from this P and 10. It's based, it's just an approximation, but it's pretty close to a lot of P and 10s you will find. Uh, put the pipe length, for example, uh, 200 meter and the flow rate of 35 cubic meter per hour. Now we get the results, velocity, head loss, and combined head loss that you will, you can get now after you enter start height and end height of the pipe. So let's assume this pipe starts at the elevation of 95 meter and ends on 101. We got a slope of 3% and 6 meter difference. So combined head loss is 9.25 meters. So you can add more segments, submains, and everything else, and you can export and send it to your email. You can, what else? You can, uh, if you don't want to see, for example, the slope, if you're using it on a mobile device, just, un uh, just tick slope or a elevation change or anything else. So the screen size will uh, have more space for the other cells. That's it basically. You have the uh, GRP pipes, polyethylene pipes, high density polyethylene, uh, steel pipes in, uh, in different wall thickness. And that's it. If you have any questions, just go to kimprojects.com to the site and on the contact form, just leave your details. If you have other ideas for calculators, I would like to hear them. Thank you very much.